I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will develop a very important formula about the area. The question here is a 10 centimeter piece of wire is cut into two pieces. One piece is to be bent to form a circle and the other is to be bent to form a square. Determine an expression a of x of this enclosed area in terms of x where x represents length of wire to be used for the circle. Evaluate A0 and explain what it represents. So what we are given here is a piece of wire, let us say this is a piece of wire which is 10 centimeters long. So this is 10 centimeters. Now it is to be cut into two pieces. So let us say we cut it from here. right? And this length is say x then that length will be 10 minus x perfect now out of these two pieces from one piece we'll make a circle so it says we need to find area of two figures one is circle so out of that length we are making a circle right so we make a circle here this circle is made from this length of the wire and from the second piece we'll actually make a square so we'll make a square here which will be made from the remaining piece of the wire. Okay. What we need to find is an expression for area, combined area of the circle. So we need to find area. So area combined will be for the circle it will be pi r square and for the uh, square it will be side square where s is length of each side, side square. Okay. So that becomes the area. Now you can clearly see that this area is function of two different variables, radius and the side length of the square. We need to relate them and write as a function of x, the length which we have decided to convert into a circle, right? So this is what the question is. I hope you understand the question. Now you can pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestion. Okay, now let's begin to develop the formula. So this side length, that means the length of each side for the square is how much. So from here, we know the perimeter is 10 minus x, correct? Four sides, so we have four sides of the square will sum up to 10 minus x, right? So clearly side length is 10 minus x divided by 4, is it okay? So that is how we can get expression of side length with respect to the length of the wire right since we started with 10 centimeters and we took x for the circle s is 10 minus x so we got one expression so we can always write this as 10 minus x over 4 whole square now let's see how to develop a relation for radius and the length x so let us say this is r the radius right then what is x equals to now from here we can say x, uh, let me write here, x equals to 2 pi r, right? 2 pi r, the circumference, right? So because the whole length goes into that circular shape and the circumference is 2 pi r. Now from here, we can write r is equals to x divided by 2 pi, right? So that is how we can relate r with x. Do you see that? So we have related both the variables. Now it is a question of composing one function, right, which has these two variables replaced by x, correct? So we get function as x since we are replacing r with this. So we will write pi and instead of r square, we will write this function x over 2 pi whole square. You get the idea, right? plus side square. Now side is 10 minus x. So I will replace this by the other expression, which let me use a different ink. Uh, well, we'll use this ink now. So 10 minus x over 4 whole square. You get the idea, right? So, so we replaced s with this variable. So that is how we get an expression, which is area combined area of these two shapes so we say area as equals to we can simplify this right so when you simplify you get pi times x square divided by 4 pi square right so square of 2 pi 
plus we could write this as 10 minus x square and divide by 4 square which is 16 so let me write here 1 over 16 correct so that is how you could write your expression and you can now further simplify this so let me write this the final expression as when you simplify one of these pi's can get cancelled so what you get here is x square over 4 pi plus 1 over 16 10 minus x whole square right so that is the expression of area in terms of x the length of the wire which has been used to form a circle right and that's a combined area i hope the explanation is absolutely clear now let's look into the second part of the question which is evaluate a0 so let us find what is a0 so a of 0 means x is 0 right so a of 0 means x is 0 if x is 0, then the whole length will be used for square. You get the idea, right? So if a is 0, what do we get? The area will be 1 over 16, a is 0. This part will be 0, right? Times 10 square, right? So that is 100 over 16, right? So that is the area. And this signifies area of square, right? Where the whole length so area of square where the whole length of the wire has been used area of square with perimeter of 10 centimeters right because the whole length of the wire 10 centimeters is used for the square and we did not use any centimeter or any part of this wire for circle right so if i use the whole length of wire for square that is the area which you will get, right? So you can always simplify this into simpler terms or write it in decimals as per your wish. But you need to understand that it's possible that the x value could be from 0 to 10, right? So now, as a question, what you can find is what does a10 equals to, right? And what does it signify? That is to say, if I convert the whole length into circle then what area do I get which one is the maximum area out of these you can figure that out also from this kind of calculation I hope this really helps you to understand how to develop formulas and how to apply them and also how to relate one variable with the other and form a composite function with such relations I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot Thank you and all the best.